Hey YouTube family, I am so excited to be here in front of you guys today. I am excited to talk to you guys about book writing. Every time I speak with a client or a potential client and I am asked a question, I always try to think of the way that I can turn this into educational pieces for those that are aspiring authors. So today the question of the day was, can I really make money off of my book? And I think that this question was an amazing question because a lot of people assume that when you publish a book, nobody's really buying books anymore. People are going to the library, they're renting them, they're downloading audiobooks on like the free services, they're doing all these other things. And while I participate in all that, I, I download books, I rent books, there are still wonderful ways that you can make money off of your book. So take me for example, when I first published my book, I originally only had the desire to publish a book. For those of you that know my story, you know that I was told that I would never be able to publish a book. And so because I was told that, I actually believed it. And for years I believed it. And then one day I decided, all right, well, I'm not going to believe that anymore and I'm going to work to write a book. Now, the only reason that I wanted to write this book was simply to prove to my teacher that she was wrong, that I could indeed actually write a book. And so when I sought out to write my book, my sole goal was to get it written. I didn't have this big, world-renowned dream of changing the world through my book. I just simply wanted to get it written. So upon me writing this book, um, after I wrote it, I had no idea what was going to come from it. And after I wrote the book, I started having people come to me left and right. Um, can you help me write a book? Do you want to be featured here? Do you want a speaking engagement? Do you want to host this conference? Do you want to attend this book expo? I will fly you to here. I'll do all of these things. And so I had all these doors open for, for me from one book. Now, because I was sort of closed-minded in the beginning, I didn't really know what to expect. So a lot of offers and opportunities I turned down um, because I was, didn't really know what to do with it. When I went forward with my second book, I had a way more open mind and I was more prepared to take in different opportunities and explore different ideas of things that I could implement or do. So what I did was I sought out to um, just be creative with my book writing process. So I started speaking engagements and getting paid. I started getting featured and being paid. And even when I wasn't being paid in features, I would have different people come to me by seeing me in the feature and then feature me and pay me for being featured on their blog or their website or their page or their church or their or their event. Um, I started different conferences. Um, I started oh, I started selling courses around my book. So, for example, my Devoted Dreamers course has a seven-day course that goes with the book. Um, I made different things. So I made a planner that goes with one of my books, um, things like that. And so what I wanted to come and share is that there are several ways that you can make money off of your book. I was meeting with a client the other day, and she has a book, or a book that she sells to schools around Ohio. And she goes and she features, she, she speaks to them, she sells her book, she gets paid for speaking. And so I told her, I said, wow, that's wonderful. What if you created a workbook that now went with your book? Because what she was doing was printing off sheets of paper and giving them to people and distributing them. But what if you turned those papers that you were printing, compiled them all and made a small workbook and sold it for $5.99 or $9.99? Now you're getting extra income because people now want to buy the book, they want to see you speak, and they want to buy the workbook, and it's all one package. And so it's an instant way to increase your sales related to your book. So when you're thinking about your book, I want you to be very careful of having a limited mindset. And what I mean by that is a lot of times I see one hit wonders. I call them one hit wonders, but basically they come on the scene, they publish a wonderful book, they promote it for a couple months and then they fall off the scene. They never write another book, they're not doing a book tour, they're not talking about it, they're not speaking about it, they're not marketing it, they're not speaking at different places, they're not creative, creating extra things that could relate or you know go with their book. They're just kind of throwing in the towel. And so when you do that, you really end up losing out a lot. I have a book that I published over 18 months ago, and the other day I was speaking to a random lady who was talking about struggling with being overwhelmed with busyness. Instantly, I started talking to her about my book and the productivity hacks that I have in my book. This book was published over 18 months ago. That doesn't mean that the information is irrelevant. It doesn't mean that I should no longer share it because I have other books that have been published since then. It's still an opportunity for me to sell it. And a lot of times, I'll pick and choose which book I want to talk about. So sometimes I'll be featured and I will... I will be featured and I'll talk about my book that's most recent. And then other times I'll be featured and I'll talk about my book that was old. But what I try to do is I try to talk about different books for different things depending upon the situation, the circumstance, or the person I'm speaking to. And so the same thing goes with you. You can always speak about your book. 
then even if you feel like there's updated information that needs to be added, make a second edition. Add to it. But do not let this book be a one-hit wonder and just let it go. And don't let your idea of becoming an aspiring author be turned off because you're like, well, authors don't really make that much money. Authors that don't put in effort don't make money. But authors that put in the work, authors that put in the work, make the cash. And so if you're looking for creative streams, creative ways to make money, you should definitely check out my Market Your Message course. And in this course, I teach you the strategies that you need to market your book effectively and then creative ways to prosper off of your book. And so what I'll do is I'll put the link below so that you can check it out. And that's for those that are aspiring authors that are really ready to put in the work, um, make the money, get let their book get seen and just share your book and your message all across the world. So I will chat with you guys later and I hope you have a wonderful day. Continue with Clarity, ladies. Bye.